uses. Albuterol, also known as salbutamol, is used to prevent and treat wheezing and shortness of breath caused by breathing problems, such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is also used to prevent asthma brought on by exercise. It is a quick relief drug. Albuterol belongs to a class of drugs known as bronchodilators. It works by relaxing the muscles around the airways so that they open up and you can breathe more easily. Controlling symptoms of breathing problems can decrease time lost from work or school. How to use Ventolin HFA aerosol with adapter. Read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist before you start using this medication and each time you get a refill. Follow the illustrated directions for the proper use of this medication and proper cleaning of the mouthpiece. If you have any questions, consult your doctor or pharmacist. Shake the canister well before using. Follow the instructions for test sprays in the air if you are using a canister for the first time or if you have not used it for two weeks or more, or if the inhaler has been dropped. A fine mist is a sign that the inhaler is working properly. Avoid spraying the medication in your eyes. Inhale this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, usually every 4 to 6 hours as needed. Dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. Do not increase your dose or use this drug more often than prescribed without your doctor's approval. Using too much of this medication will increase your risk of serious, possibly fatal, side effects. If you are using this medication to prevent asthma brought on by exercise, Inhale as directed by your doctor, usually two puffs 15 to 30 minutes before exercise. It is recommended that you use a spacer device with this medication. Ask your doctor or pharmacist for more information. If two inhalations are prescribed, wait at least one minute between them. If you are using other inhalers at the same time, wait at least one minute between the use of each medication. Always have this quick relief inhaler with you. Keep track of the number of inhalations you use, and discard the inhaler after you have used the labeled number of inhalations on the product package. Also count test sprays used to prime the inhaler. Learn which of your inhalers you should use every day, control or drugs, and which you should use if your breathing suddenly worsens, quick relief drugs. Ask your doctor ahead of time what you should do if you have new or worsening cough or shortness of breath, wheezing, increased sputum worsening peak flow meter readings, waking up at night with trouble breathing, if you use your quick relief inhaler more often, more than two days a week, or if your quick relief inhaler does not seem to be working well. Learn when you can treat sudden breathing problems by yourself and when you must get medical help right away. Tell your doctor if your symptoms do not improve or if they worsen. Side effects. Nervousness, shaking, tremor, headache, mouth throat dryness or irritation, changes in taste, cough, nausea or dizziness may occur. If any of these effects persist or worsen, tell your doctor or pharmacist promptly. Remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has judged that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. This medication may raise your blood pressure. Check your blood pressure regularly and tell your doctor if the results are high. Tell your doctor right away if you have any serious side effects, including, fast, pounding heartbeat. Get medical help right away if you have any rare but very serious side effects, including, chest pain, irregular heartbeat, rapid breathing, confusion. Rarely, this medication has caused severe, rarely fatal, sudden worsening of breathing problems, asthma paradoxical bronchospasm. If you experience sudden wheezing, get medical help right away. A very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare. However, get medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including, rash, itching, swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice other effects not listed above, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Precautions Before using albuterol, tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are allergic to it, or if you have had a serious reaction to similar drugs, such as levobuterol, metaproterenol, terbutalin, or if you have any other allergies.
This product may contain inactive ingredients, which can cause allergic reactions or other problems. Talk to your pharmacist for more details. Before using this medication, tell your doctor or pharmacist your medical history, especially of heart problems, such as irregular heartbeat, angina, heart attack, high blood pressure, seizure. This drug may make you dizzy. Alcohol or marijuana, cannabis, can make you more dizzy. Do not drive, use machinery, or do anything that needs alertness until you can do it safely. Limit alcoholic beverages. Talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana, cannabis. Before having surgery, tell your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. During pregnancy, this medication should be used only when clearly needed. Discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is unknown if this medication passes into breast milk. Consult your doctor before breastfeeding. Interactions. Drug interactions may change how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. This document does not contain all possible drug interactions. Keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription, non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Albuterol is very similar to levobuterol. Do not use medications containing levobuterol while using albuterol. Overdose. If someone has overdosed and has serious symptoms such as passing out or trouble breathing, call 911. Otherwise, call a poison control center right away. U.S. residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canada residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include fast slash pounding slash irregular heartbeat, severe shaking, tremors, seizures. Notes. Do not share this medication with others. Laboratory and or medical tests, such as a lung, breathing test, blood pressure, should be performed periodically to monitor your progress or check for side effects. Consult your doctor for more details. Avoid allergens, irritants such as smoke, pollen, bed dander, dust, or molds that may worsen breathing problems. Learn to use a peak flow meter, use it daily, and promptly report worsening breathing problems, such as readings in the yellow, red range, increase use of quick relief inhalers. Ask your doctor or pharmacist whether you should have an annual flu shot. Missed dose. If you are using this medication on a prescribed schedule and miss a dose, Use it as soon as you remember. If it is near the time of the next dose, skip the missed dose. Use your next dose at the regular time. Do not double the dose to catch up. Storage. Store at room temperature away from light and moisture. Do not store in the bathroom. It is best to store the inhaler with the mouthpiece down. Different brands of this medication have different storage needs. Check the product package for instructions on how to store your brand or ask your pharmacist. Do not puncture the canister or expose it to high heat or open flame. Keep all medications away from children and pets. Do not flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. Properly discard this product when it is expired or no longer needed. Consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for more details about how to safely discard your product.